Okay, as you can see, I've managed to manage to from my pull start, which is one of this is a good one that I sorted out and fixed earlier. Um, as you can see, that in this example, I've dropped my spring out of the uh, centre casing of the pull start for my um, my PAP Top 80. An absolute nightmare trying to get this back and fight it and, and get it all back together again. Now, after three hours, I've come up with a technique. You need two good quality tape cable ties, decent width, a nail and a hammer. Start, get that nail in there, good and firm, careful not to hit your spring. Okay. Then you also need the centre piece, which is the back of that. This is the old one that I was replacing, which was damaged, um, which is the natural pulling mechanism from your pull start. Okay. What I'm going to do, so I'm going to use this to secure the spring, drop this in the middle and just start winding. Okay, now at first it's nice and easy and then you have to start to fight it a little bit. Now the problems you have is once you get this spring nice and tight um, it's going to want to fly back and also um, it's going to want to try and pop up and spring on itself so you need to keep the pressure on keeping this nice and firm against the, your workbench you see what I'm doing here, I'm taking the tension in, keeping it flat and winding and winding and winding. Okay, you want to make it smaller than the pulley wheel because the pulley wheel is about the same size as the centre of your housing where ultimately the spring needs to go. Okay, now the real trick is after you've done this is to keep it all in position. Okay, so winding it down nice and tight. I'll edit this down a bit. Okay. And this is where your two cable ties come in. Okay, see I've got that nice and small. It's real tight. It's trying very hard to ping open. I take my cable ties, which if I'd been sensible, I would have prepared sooner. Oh, hang on. Push that in. Just get that started. Just the smallest amount and take that around the whole of the body of my nail and my spring. Is recording here. Yeah? Yeah. And if I'd prepared this into this shape already, this task would be a damn sight easier. Okay. Now then, what I have to do to pull these to make them as small as I can up against my nail and the spring and all my other bits and pieces. Now I'm pretending Ben's not here to help me. If there was two people, clearly it would make the job a lot easier. Okay, happy that that is on there. I'm going to let this uncoil. Don't let it pop up though, Lenny. Okay, and there we have it. Got my nice tight little spring. I'm keeping it nipped because it will want to pop up and I'll fight it off the nail. Ah, oh, come on. Could have done with using a smaller nail. Okay. We'll edit this bit out. Okay, so there we are. Spring nice and tight. Find the appropriate place in the housing. Oh, forgot to tell you. Cut these lugs off nice and short, as short as you possibly can. Ooh. Okay. Make sure you got your spring the right way round. This is a mistake I made earlier, and you won't find your pull start will work. Position it, and then. Push it out of the. Voila. Okay. And then she's in. And as you can see, we've got it in. Job done. Now that took me, what, three minutes? Four minutes maybe? It took me three and a half hours to learn that. I've had three and a half hours of fighting and fighting these springs with sore fingers to prove it. But that's how the job's done in five minutes, possibly even on your own.
Okay, that'll do. Thank you very much. I hope you find it useful.